Hey guys, it's Carl in the Philippines coming back at you. Hey, I just want to, you know, thank you guys for following me. And, uh, you know, thank you for sharing the videos and for any new subscribers I have. Just a little bit about myself. I am 49 year old American living in the United States right now. I am married to a Philippine woman that is in the Philippines. My intentions are to be in the Philippines with all God willing by the end of this year for permanent uh, life down there. As you guys know, if you've been following the vlog on, I am trying to get all the paperwork for my visa, which is a 13A. It's a spousal visa. Um, but since the country keeps shutting down, it's just getting harder and harder to get it right now. So, what I want to talk to you guys about is long distance relationships. I know a lot of people think it is hard to have a long distance relationship, but I am here to tell you that it can be hard if you make it hard. If you don't and you're honest with the uh, person that you're in love with, you guys, you guys can make it. I've been doing this with her for years. When I saw her back in... 2018 you know I've been with her for numerous years prior to that as well and I decided it was time just to to marry her um, so yes long distance relationships are very much feasible they can work um, it comes down to trust. You know, I trust her um, very much. She trusts me. I will tell you one thing that to me proved that she really, really wanted to be with me. And it wasn't just because I was an American. You know, I hear all these rumors that, you know, a lot of these girls just want to be with an American so they can come over to America. And then pretty much it's like over. But I will tell you the one thing that proved she wants to be with me. Because my intention is not to move her. United States. My intention is for me to move there. And she is 100% fine with it. And that is the, to me, the key point. You know, I hear of a lot of, you know, tragedies of guys dating women, long distance, you know, in other countries. And you know, they go see them, they bring them back here, and then all suddenly that love doesn't isn't there anymore. You know, <clears throat> when she when I told her I wanted to move here, move there, I should say, and live there, she was fine with it. She never came up with any kind of. Well, don't you, wouldn't you rather be in the United States, you know, live better? It's... Why? You live the way you are, where you are. You know, I'm in, I'll be in the Philippines. I'll still have as a good of a life in the Philippines as I will here. You know, um, it is probably one of the easiest things for me to make the decision on 
you know, I'm leaving my family here, my siblings, cousins, um, you know, unfortunately, I'm at that generation where I really don't have any more aunts or uncles really alive because they're all at that age of where they all started to basically pass. Um, especially being from, you know, my father being the youngest in a family of, wow, six. Six? Seven. Youngest of seven. So, <laughs> you know, he is the youngest of seven kids, including him as make seven. So, you know, all of them are pretty much have passed. My mother has a sister. Uh, to be honest, I have not talked to her in years. I couldn't even tell you if she's still alive. Um, but, you know, so I'm to that stage. The only people that I have to worry about would be my brother and sister. And to be honest, my most important person in my life right now is my wife and my three girls. And these are way, you know, what I'm talking to you guys about is ways to see if she really loves you. You know, because like I said, I hear a lot of shit about people getting into bad relationships. When she starts asking you for money left and right, it's not a good relationship. I have to say, in all the years that I've been with her, because I've been telling her for years, years that I was going to marry her. And it came to the point that I chose to help her. And I was sending money to her. And all those years sending money to her, she never, never, oh, I need this, or I need that, and I need this. Never. To me, that is a key factor. You know, she understands I'm not, I'm not rich. You know, even now, I'm not rich, but I, you know, I do what I do to take care of her and my girls now, because especially since I'm married to her now, so I do support them 100%. Um, you know, I pay for the house that they stay in, I pay for the food, I pay for bills, I pay for whatever. I'm fine with it. I support her in what she wants to do, which I'm actually getting to the point where I got to get back on her because she started a barbecue stand. She was doing okay. She was, I think she was making roughly about 500 pesos a day for the little time she was open. I want to see her go further. Push it more. I want to see her do it more. I, you know, Evolve it more, you know, and I'm willing to help her to it. Um, I will say the biggest downfall with a long distance relationship well, is I'm not with her. And I miss being with her. Um, I miss being with the girls, <laughs> you know, I miss being with my puppies that are down there, you know, but I see her every day. To be honest with you, it's 6.30 
at night in, in New York, she should be getting on probably within like the next 30 minutes. And I'll talk with her until I go to bed. And then I talk to her in the morning when I wake up until she goes to bed. <laughs> so I do have spend a lot of time with her. Um, I give you another reason what I miss is I miss her cooking. You know, everyone keeps making remarks about Philippine food, blah blah blah. It's not the cook. I love it, and she's a great cook, so I do enjoy it. So I enjoy getting. I I, I miss that. Um. The only negative thing I have to say is when I send her money to support her, I have to figure out a better way of sending it. Um, she has a bank account down there. There's a bank here in New York that's down there. It costs me Eight dollars to put the money in because I I believe that's a just a transfer fee. Just to why why don't we say transfer? I think it's more of a conversion fee from U.S. dollars to Philippine pesos when they transfer it over. Um. <laughs> excuse me. That's fine. I used to wire her money from my bank to her bank account. Before I found, we found a bank that was in both locations, and I was paying forty dollars because I pay her twice a month down there because um, I only get paid twice a month. So I split what I would pay for the full month in two payments, and it was costing me forty dollars every time I would send it down. You know, if you do the math. That's 80 bucks a month times 12. That's $960 a year that could go to her. Yes. I pay $8. But guess what? $8 times 12 is... Ninety-six dollars. It's not nine hundred and sixty. It's ten times less that way. So I'm actually saving money that way. And but my only problem <clears throat> with sending her money down is, <sighs> excuse me, is when. Well, now, you know, I don't want to say it was not prior. It's now with COVID. I don't know if the bank is paranoid, but like I said, people are paranoid. And the bank's been shut twice. It's been shut down. And I don't know why this time. I think they said they were doing for because of COVID cleaning, they were supposed to open Monday. They were closed from the 9th till Monday. Well, actually, the 21st, or I think it was the 19th that Friday. And they were supposed to open the 22nd. They weren't when I went out there. Um, that, these are just like the downfalls that I see with long distance relationships. Yes, everyone says, well, just do Western Union. Western Union is, I think it's $15 to send it. Um, that'd be like 180 bucks a year. Still, uh, still cheaper than doing a wire transfer from my regular bank. But the problem is... When they see all the transfers, they don't ask questions of why you're transferring. They terminate 
you right off the bat and then when you try to fix it they give you attitudes with it even when you can provide proof of how you're doing it you know so those are some downfalls of the long distance relationship other than that it's all high points you know at least for me it's all high points you know I can't wait to see her you know, I can't wait to be with her. Just, you know. Some of the stupidest things. I miss holding her hand. I, I miss, you know. Just being with her. So, you know, this is just my feel on long distance relationships. You know, I hope that'll help you guys out there if you're looking to do a long distance relationship. Um... All I have to say is if you are. Two key factors in a long distance relationship to know if it's true. Tell her you want to move there and live. And see what she says. And the second one is if she's constantly asking you for money. There's the issue. She's not in love with you. She's in love with the money. Do not constantly send them money. You know, that's a true way of seeing her. You know, when you get married to her or you're really committed with her and you've been with her for the longest time I'm not talking six months I'm not talking a year I've been with my wife like 14 maybe 14 years or more I can't remember how long we've been together <laughs> yes ladies I know you're supposed to remember the first date you went on and blah, blah. I, I don't remember. I remember my anniversary. Best day of my life. You know, the day I got married. Um, But, yes. If she's constantly asking for money, you know, this came up. I got to... I gotta help my mother. I gotta help my family. Oh, I got, I got into an accident. Oh, I, I gotta pay the rent. I, if they're constantly asking, it's a red flag. That bulb over your head should come on, and you should be like, Ooh, okay, something's up. So that's just my advice to you guys on a long distance relationship. You know. I'm going to say that everyone could be as lucky as I am. Because, yes, I am very lucky. I got a... You know what? I don't even got a good woman. I got a great woman. I got a great woman. You know, she... Looks out for me. She's teaching me more responsibility. You know, I could sit back and say, you know what? The amount of money I make here. If I was single, I'd be lonely. I'd have a ton. I'd have a shitload of money to spend. But you know what? I still have enough money to survive. I. Have somebody I love to death. Let me know. I'm gonna take that back. Not somebody. I have a family I love to death. You know, I have my three girls and her. I love them all to death. Yes, I I, I pick on my my youngest. I always kid around with her, but. 
I love her to death. I love my oldest, even though she's got a boyfriend now, you know. I don't know. You know, I got my middle one. She's great. Um, and I love her to death. And I love my wife. I love my wife's family. You know, my sister-in-law is living with us for a while right now. Even though she's got a husband and kids, but I think it's because of the pandemic. She really just can't go back and forth. And you want to know what? I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'm fine. My wife's happy, so I'm happy. These are little things you know if your relationship is going good. And if you're really, truly, truly in love and if that person loves you. So... Guys, I'm gonna cut this video off right now. It's you know it was it's a pretty long video. It's about twenty some odd minutes, but that's my take on long distance relationship. Hey, give me some comments if you're in a long distance relationship. What you feel makes that long distance relationship a number one? I know I can't be the only one out there in a long distance relationship where I feel it was the best thing I've ever did. So. Guys, please like, so hit that thumbs up, Ding. hit the little subscribe button, hit the little bell for notification, Bing. to know when I do another video and put one up. Subscribe, remember, subscribe, share, share. Go check my uh, Instagram out, Carl in the Philippines, Carl. In the Philippines, remember that. Check me out there. It's it's not hard. It's it's fun. It's Carl underscore in underscore the in underscore Philippines. You know, check it out there. Follow me there. You'll you'll know when I put a video up. I put up the little posting up there all the time. So just remember. Share, share, share. Get your friends to subscribe. I appreciate it. I appreciate all you out there. So, until I see you again, be safe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.